What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the smoking section. My name is Sean and tonight I'm going to be breaking out a brand new cigar to myself. Now this has been out for a little while now. I know I'm probably a little late to the party, but there are a few things that have taken place since the giveaway, um, which I will be covering all of that tonight. Um, along with a beautiful, beautiful cigar review that I'm very, very excited about. But first and foremost, let me get started by just saying, I'm Sean with The Smoking Section. Um, if you haven't been here too long, uh, I usually try to do a cigar review two to three times a week. That includes a live cigar review that I, you know, hop on. Uh, StreamYard and go live on Facebook and YouTube depending on wherever you follow from and just kind of hang out with you guys smoke a great cigar answer some questions go here go there you know do a little bit of everything within the last almost two months I wound up getting a new job uh, so this job actually requires me to do a lot more traveling uh, it is a lot more physical work it is a lot more of just a little bit of everything. Um, the company, I'm not going to say the name of the company because I don't want to get like sued or anything like that by throwing them out there, but it's a great, great company. Um, and I'm really, really happy to be here. I really love this job. Um, it's doing a lot of the same stuff that I love to do uh, maintenance-wise, like mechanical-wise, building things, you know, conveyors, big jobs, all this type of stuff. So, you know, with that being said, the cigar review videos might be a little bit more far and few between. Um, I still want to do cigar review videos uh, because like I've said before, this is a hobby. It's not for me to try and get rich off of. This isn't my life. I'm not trying to you know, get paid by YouTube to do this constantly and that'll be the job that I do for the rest of my life. Um, this is only going to be for me and whoever else enjoys watching. Um, but for right now, you know, today was a great day. I got done a little bit early, so I, I wound up coming home, getting myself all straightened out and put together. And I was like, you know what, let's do a cigar review today. I'm a little bit on the tired side with it being Monday, but really can't complain with that too, too much. But with that being said, I just want everybody to know that the channel is still going to be relevant. It's not going to be a channel that I just throw away. Uh, I've started building something, uh, as you can see right back here. Um, we have a brand, we have followers, we have a beautiful community, um, both on Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube. I know I said both, but you know what I mean. Um, so, you know, it's still going to keep rolling. I still try to, like, post pictures if I smoke a cigar. You know, the sad part is, even my cigar smoking has taken a hit. Like, I was smoking three to five times a week, um, just to try new things, get stuff out there that's even taken a toll so I really haven't even been smoking cigars that much um, but I'm gonna try my best to throw out as many videos as I can uh, depending on the work weeks the workload and how much it kicks me in the butt throughout the day but today is a different story today I have a beautiful cigar that has been around for a few months now um, and I'm really really excited to light this up Ooh, excuse me really excited to light this up so with that being said let me get this thing all prepped and ready to go and I will see you guys in just a second. So as you can tell by the title right down here tonight we are going to be lighting up the Fruit Leather. Uh, this was an LCA Pravada Club exclusive. Um, I'm really really excited about lighting up this cigar. I thought I thought the wrapper was just really really cool really you know fun inviting kinda gave you like a nice little uh, you know cartoony effect to it um, and obviously you know I'm, I'm hoping that we're gonna hit some you know hints of some dried fruit in there maybe um, or at least some fruity hints there as well but I'm gonna go ahead and light this thing up and I'm gonna do everything on camera tonight because normally I already have it cut and I'm lighting it or a pause and then light it after so I was, we're just gonna do everything at once and I'm gonna do something a little bit different tonight so so I always try to wet the top just to make sure that when I cut it, I don't get any uh, splits. And it seems like it's a very, very solid cigar, which I like. It's going to be a beautiful cigar to light up. So tonight we wound up going with a beautiful V-cut, as you can see right there. And tonight I'm actually going to be doing something a little different. Tonight 
tonight I'm going to be using wooden matches. Now usually I always use my dagger, my vertigo, which is a beautiful, beautiful lighter. Um, but you know what? I want to do something a little bit different tonight. See if this is going to affect the taste, the flavor, anything in general. So I'm going to go ahead, get this thing set and ready to go. Now, that had a very, very interesting light. All right, so the first light, I'm definitely getting a little bit more spice right off the beginning. Um, kind of airy, but then it really kind of hits that spice tone uh, right off the bat, which is very nice. It's very like, hey, you know what? get yourself started this is what we're starting with but I'm very curious to see how this is going to kind of get into that fruity and leathery kind of taste um, I do taste a little bit of the leather I'm really not getting too many hints of like any fruits yet um, a lot of pepper right off the bat um, almost like a citrusy kind of taste and of course the leather um, but not not a strong leather the pepper is very very in your face right now um, which isn't necessarily a bad thing it's just kind of waking you up and kind of getting you prepped I'd imagine for what this cigar has to hold but as you can see this is a very very cute little cigar this is the Robusto it is the 5x50 um, really really nice cigar though it is labeled as a medium bodied cigar uh, so right off the bat though it's, it's kind of right at that medium uh, it's it's not too much into the mild side yet um, but that medium is, is like right right there uh, but you know I, all in all I think it has a really really nice draw on it first Not a very not not a very soft draw. Um, I do feel like I'm working for the smoke a little bit, but then again, with this being a five by fifty and it being a little bit shorter than like a six plus, um, I'm just really hoping that the flavor kind of expands as we begin to smoke some more. And with it being a little bit tougher of a draw, um, you know, I'm hoping that it lasts a little bit longer, too, because I do not want to burn through this too fast. I want to get everything that this cigar has to offer. So I'm going to go ahead and smoke this down to my first third, and I'm going to see where this thing takes me. So I will be right back, and I will see you guys in just a second. So this cigar has really stepped down on the pepper. Um, as you can see, I'm just getting past my first third. Now, it does have a little bit of a hill over here, which I'm hoping it'll correct itself. Um, I don't normally use matches, so it could have been me that wound up mislighting it a little bit. I thought I tried getting it all the way across, but I could have missed a little bit. But all in all, I mean, this ash is solid. I mean, it is just piling on. It's beautiful. Really, really nice all the way around. And the flavor profile is very, very enjoyable. Um, so the pepper has stepped itself back a little bit from center stage. Um, I am getting hints of almost like a fruity citrus. Um, not I, I don't even want to say like dried fruit, but I mean it, it does kind of have that taste to it um, of dried fruit. Uh, the citrus that's in there is just a nice little on the top part of it. The leather is combining with the dried, you know, fruit taste oh so well and the pepper is still kind of there but it did dial itself back a little bit and you know all in all I mean it's a very very enjoyable cigar now would I smoke this in the morning probably just because I enjoy fuller bodied cigars uh, that kind of help me wake up in the morning uh, I think that they go really really well with coffee this one really really nice cigar and I think that I would actually kind of pair this with like a tea um, to be honest with you not saying that coffee wouldn't be a good pairing uh, with it but 
really, really nice cigar, which I think would go great with some tea. Um, it has a nice flavor profile to it. It did dial back a little bit, so it's not going to be strong all the way through. Um, it does have some of those fruit textures to it as well, which is just really, really enjoyable. And the construction of the cigar is absolutely beautiful. I mean, like I said, the ash is just holding on for dear life. It, it, it literally is just stepping on. It, it almost looks like just pancakes, you know, just one flapjack on, for, on top of the other. Um, but really, really nice construction of the cigar. Uh, not one single crack that I can see. Um, it is a little bit more solid when you first, um, you know, get it. But then as it starts to heat up, it starts to warm up, it does get a little bit more of a squish to it, which is really, really nice as well, which shows that the tobacco is starting to kind of move around. Um, really, really nice draw on it as well. Like I said, it's a little bit more solid than I'm used to for the draw, but it's really kind of helping me, you know, enjoy the cigar and not just smoke it from A to B and like, two seconds flat so um, really really great cigar and I'm really excited to see what the second third is going to bring um, especially with the pepper dying down in the first third you're getting a lot of those dried fruits and citrus and leather all kind of combined together um, so I'm kind of hoping that it stays this way all the way through the cigar but I guess we will see and find out so let me go ahead and smoke this down to my second third and I will be right back So I'm just getting down to my second third. Uh, I did lose some ash off of it. Um, actually, as soon as I paused for the second third at that time, I had taken two puffs and it fell right in my lap. So uh, not like you needed to know that, but it does happen to me too. So, But with that being said, uh, I, I'm still really, really enjoying this cigar. Really, really smooth flavor. Um, just enough pepper to let you know that it's there, though. Uh, does a really really nice job of combining everything like I said that dried fruit and that leather that citrus and there's even a sweetness of like 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 a almost like a floral is like the best way that I can kind of describe it like a floral sweetness um, I'm not gonna say almost like a honeysuckle but I, I'm, I'm gonna say that it's it's almost like that if you ever did that as a kid where you would you know pick a honeysuckle and kind of throw it and kind of get that little taste of sweetness it kind of has a little bit of that and no this was that was not smoking a joint so I don't want anybody to think that I was smoking a joint but no you know when I was a kid I used to smoke you know um smoke see now you got me thinking about it when I was a kid I used to get the honeysuckles off the off the fence line and I would you know pick off the one that kind of had like a little bit of a yellow tint to it and I know that it was the pollen that kind of had that nice sweetness to it but I just remember always doing that as a child and it kind of reminds me of that um, just kind of getting that little tiny bit of you know sweetness at the end and it's right on the end after you get through the dried fruit the leather the citrus the pepper and then it just kind of sits on your tongue that little bit of sweetness um, but all in all it is a beautiful beautiful stick um, the ash is getting a little bit more crazy now it's not laying down you know as evenly as before but this is that's straight off the break so you can actually see where I had the old one there it just kind of you know fell right off broke off about here uh, it fell off and that's where I've been smoking it since so um, I didn't knock the ash off I've been trying to ash it all the way through but really really nice nice ash still it's just really really nice and the construction is doing absolutely superb so I'm gonna go ahead and smoke this down to my final third and um, I'm gonna see if that pepper comes back at all uh, do we lose any flavors do we gain anything else let's see what happens so I will see you guys in just a second with our final third of the cigar I'll see you guys soon so I'm just getting past my final third right about the spot where I normally call it and uh, I did see a little bit of the uh, the wrapper starting to come off there but that's just from the heat um, it looks like it stemmed right from the V cut there as you can see uh, turn it this way Sean as you can see there it's like right where the tip is that's kind of where it came down and it just kind of stressed out from there but um, all in all beautiful beautiful cigar um, really really nice as you can see don't look at that ugly part let me turn that around so it looks good um, 
Really, really nice cigar though. I mean, it, it really started opening up a little bit more, and you can actually see from the side it it's got a nice. Nice squish to it right now. It just it's really really hot. A little bit hot on my tongue as well. Not so much the pepper as it is just the heat of the the smoke coming off of it. But really really nice cigar. Um, the pepper did come back. Um, not in full force. Not in like a vengeance. But um, it did come back a little bit. The dried fruit was still kind of there. The leather kind of faded off a little bit. I didn't get so much of the sweetness um, that I was getting in the second third. Um, once I kind of hit, you know, about halfway through the final third, uh, that sweetness kind of went away. Um, but a lot of the flavor still stayed, and the pepper did come back and kind of mixed in with it a little bit. So, but I mean, all in all, I thought it was a really, really good cigar. Um, I would definitely smoke another one again. I would definitely keep these in my my humidor. Uh, if I were to find a couple more of them, I would definitely grab them. Um, but all in all, I mean, I think it was a really, really great cigar. So let me go ahead and finish this up. Uh, a few more puffs on it while I finish up my movie, and then I'll be back with my final thoughts. So we'll see you guys then. So final thoughts on the fruit leather. Uh, so I really, really enjoyed it. Um, I think for the price of the cigar, which I'm looking on right now, there's a website that I have up on my phone um, called Cigar Art. Uh, they are selling it for ten dollars and fifty cents, uh, tax excluded. Um, you know, you can probably find it on a Pravada Club and maybe even your local uh, brick and mortar shop. Um, but all in all, I mean, I thought it was an extremely well done cigar. Um, the flavor profile was a little bit tense in the beginning. Really didn't expect a lot of that pepper uh, right there in the beginning of the cigar. I kind of expected maybe a little bit of like a. a like a sweet fruit that kind of turned into some leather with some dried fruit. Um, you know, I really didn't expect the pepper to be that far in it. And when they said that it was like a mild to medium cigar, um, you know, I was kind of like, well, it's it's fruit and leather. Like, really can't be that spicy. But in the beginning, it did kind of try to wake you up in the beginning with that. Um, all in all, I think it was a great cigar. I would definitely give it a probably like a 4.7, 4.8 out of five stars. I really couldn't find much wrong with it. Um, the draw was a little harder than I would have liked it to be, but all in all, I thought it was a really, really great cigar. Um, if you guys wanted to see the wrapper, you know, off the cigar, that's what it looks like. Really, really nice. Um, kind of fun, kind of playful. Uh, you definitely see, you know, the fruit and the banana right next to the leather, and you got some pineapples and strawberries and all that stuff in there. Um, so, I mean, all in all, I thought it was a really, really great cigar. Um, I would definitely smoke it again. It would definitely be one that I would love to keep in my humidor. Um, really, really enjoyed smoking that. And it was very, very relaxing as well. Um, you could definitely pick out the flavors within it. I didn't have to think too hard on it. I didn't have to really kind of like try and dissect every little thing within the cigar to try and figure out what it was doing or where, you know, where the flavor was going. Um, but all in all, I thought it was a great, great cigar. So uh, if you get definitely want to give it a try, um, I suggest you try and pick them up. Like I said, Cigar Art, it says right now in stock, there's 181 cigars in stock. Uh, so if you want to pick one up, definitely head on over to there or check out Pravada uh, and see if they have any in there. I'm sure they probably do as well, and I'd rather give them the business because it's their cigar. But it was just one of the websites that I, you know, brought up uh, to see, you know, what pricing was like. So uh, definitely check them out. Give it a try. Tell me what you think in the comments below. And of course, if you like this video and you like what I do, leave me a like and drop me a comment and tell me, have you ever tried the Fruit Leather by LCA Pravada Club? Let me know. But from the smoking section, everybody, I'm going to end this video here. I'm Sean. As always, stay blessed, stay smoking, and I will catch you guys on the next one. I will see you guys later and have a great rest of your week, and hopefully I can get another video out sometime this week. But until then, I will see you guys later. Enjoy the rest of your week. Stay safe out there, everybody. Bye.